Hi everyone, in this tutorial I want to show you some basics of Figma, which is a web app that we're going to be using that will help create a prototype for a brand new app that you are coming up with. And so what we're going to do is we're going to go to figma.com and this is the homepage here. Uh, you can see there's lots of features and lots of things that we're going to talk about. First thing I want you to do is press sign up and you're going to sign up for an account. Uh, it doesn't matter what email you use. You can use your Texas State email. You can use a personal email. I'm going to go ahead and sign up with a personal email. That way you can see what it looks like because I've already created an account here and go ahead and type in a password and create the account. My name is John Zmickley, and what kind of work do I do? I'm just gonna go ahead and press other because I am a teacher, and so I'm gonna go ahead and agree and press create account. And in a second, I'll go ahead and save that password. Um, and then here we have the welcome screen. Uh, it's gonna give you some tutorials to show you kind of how to use all these different pieces. Uh, we're not gonna create a team or anything like that. Um, and so I'm gonna go ahead and X out of that. Um, but it gives you these how-to steps and um, you know this importing sketch files if you've created certain files in a program called Sketch, um, editing files and all that kind of stuff. So what I did was I just pressed, it, it prompted me to create a new file. Um, another way to do that um, back here, if I went back um, to my files, um, I would just do the same thing. Go ahead and press new here. And here I have a blank canvas to get started on my web app. Um, and so what I'm gonna do is I want to create what, they're, what they call frames. Uh, frames allow you to create basically a screen if you wanna think about it that way. I'm gonna go ahead and click here and click on frame. Over here in the right sidebar, you're gonna see some options as to what kind of device this will be on. Uh, for me, I'm just gonna go ahead and put it on an iPhone 11 Pro slash 10. Uh, X and that's going to give me a frame of that particular screen of what I would see and so from here You can go ahead and start adding some content uh, you can add shapes um, Everything from rectangles lines and stars and things like that to even images that you might want to create And so I'm going to go ahead and just create a basic rectangle so you can see how that works um, If I wanted to create maybe the top uh, to be a certain color I could take that a rectangle, I could change the color here, the fill color. Let's make it kind of a maroon. Um, and then you can also add a stroke, which is basically a border around it. You could choose how big or small that border is. Um, and then different effects like drop shadows and things like that. So basically every item that you add to your frame, you can change its design. Uh, you can also edit, and we're gonna get to this in a minute, some prototype options to actually give it some interaction. And then you even have some options for code. And you'll fam familiarize yourself obviously with CSS and that gives you um, some options that we've already done. Now I'm not gonna require you to do that, but just so you know that that's there. Also with objects, whenever you add them, depending on how you add them on your screen, you can choose to center them horizontally or center them vertically. It'll also snap to different areas. So if I wanna snap this to the center, you can see that it snaps right there. I'm just gonna go ahead and put this on the top for kind of a screen. And um, yeah, just center it and you know you can uh, fix the position however you need to. Now, um, another thing I could add here is I'm gonna go ahead and um, add let's go with a star um, go ahead and create that once you've created that you can also decide how big you want the radius to be and how um, you know large or small you want it to be and then also um, the number of points in the star so I'm just gonna go ahead and create that I'll put it in the dead center here you can see it there um, another thing we could add is text and go ahead and you know maybe add a text box and I'm gonna say, welcome. Okay, I'm gonna take that, I'll center it. Now, the text options for centering is over here on the right, and so I'm gonna go ahead and center that. Um, beyond that, I'm gonna go ahead and change the uh, font to something a little bit thicker, and then maybe a font size of 48. This gives me um, just some more, you know, um, options here. So there is my text. I can also change the color if I want to. I'll make it white and then move this up here to the top. And so when somebody go, opens up my app, they get a little welcome message. Uh, now this doesn't look the best, uh, but this is just a demo. And um, beyond all this, you can also add images. And so if I want to go ahead and add an image, 
Um, I would do the same here under the shape tools and I'll place an image. Now I don't really have any images on my desktop right now, so I'm gonna go ahead and search for one. Whoops, I'm gonna go to pixabay.com. And from there, I might just type in um, puppies. Sure, here we go, I'll get a pug going right there. I'm gonna go ahead and free download it. Let me press the download button. I'm not a robot. Download that thing. And then from there, I can put it into my place image. I put it in my downloads folder. There it is, press open. And now I can draw that image. As tall or as short as I make it will determine where that pug ends up. And so I'm gonna go ahead and maybe just put, put him down here. Sure, put this here, that way, I don't know. You can decide kind of what your home screen looks like for this app, but you can see every new item that I've created is basically created a new layer in this one same frame. Every item that I select will have properties over here on the right that I could change and um, at any time resize if I need to uh, and things like that. So in the next tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to create another screen and then to create some interaction between these screens.